up for sale, 1973 Ford Mustang Mach 1. I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 73 Ford Mustang Mach 1, finished in red with red interior. 351 Cleveland, automatic, power steering, power front disc brakes. And as always, go around and tell you everything I do know about it, point out anything I do see, fire it up, and then drive it. Uh, so of course, we will start here in the front. Before I do, my website is nextgenclassiccars.com. That link is in the description of this video if you'd like to go ahead and check it out. Uh, you see this car, see other cars that I have. Uh, my eBay store link is also in the description. Um, you know, send us a message, email, phone call. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, but anyway, we're all here for this. First off, finished in red with the black hood stripe. It's just a great looking car with the factory wheels with the little spinners on it. A um, couple of marks right here on the front bumper. You see that? And another one right there. But the rest of it is super nice. Your uh, bezels and grill in the front, also super nice. It's uh, definitely a fully restored car. I mean, of course, paint, interior, trim, chrome, you know, drivetrain, details underneath. And I have some good receipts for the car as well. Uh, but anyway, there's a couple little drops on here, like some, some water drops, because I, I want to get this out before the snow actually does come. Uh, but you see the hood fitment's nice. And the paint itself is actually really nice. It's, it's a real sharp looking car. Um, not too many blemishes on this section that you see there. Let's go ahead, we'll pop the hood. easier with two hands. 351 Cleveland four barrel uh, aluminum intake they have on it as well as a Edelbrock four barrel car and uh, you see the power steering down there. You, you can kind of make out the brake booster and master cylinder for the power front disc brakes and uh, just just a nice clean engine compartment here. All the black looks super nice. Um, smooth running strong. It's got a great uh, exhaust system on it so it's got a nice little hum to it and it's something I like to, to point out is how nice the finish is in here on the fenders. You know, each bolt is new. They didn't just paint over it. Which, you know, oftentimes they do. Uh, the battery is new. Probably two weeks old. And again here, this is all nice and clean as well. Uh, I also like the, uh, the high-rise valve covers on it too. It's just got a great look. It looks very mean. Under hood as well, also painted very, very nice. Again, they did a lot of, you know, nice things to the car. Anyway, we'll move on down the side, but before I do, let me flash it. Nice and straight. I do notice, you know, two little touch-ups right there on the car. Uh, it was owned by the previous owner for three years. spinner on it and uh, he bought it from the throttle shop in Wisconsin that dealer you see a little a couple little nicks along this line right there of course your VIN absolutely very important windshield is great no cracks in it this trim all looks very very nice all the way around, even here. Uh, no, no cracks in the glass here as well. You see a little touch up right there below the handle. And door fitment's nice here, fitment's nice. And this line is nice here. I always like the key in on that. Sometimes they don't do that properly. And of course, being a Mach 1, you get a little bit of striping down the side. And again, I'd like to say just how sharp the red with the red interior is. Uh, in the door jam is what's remaining of the original tag. I mean, of course, being a sticker, it, it wears over time. But uh, just nice to see that it's still there. Nice red door panel here. Looks real good. Looks like a new handle. Just little things I'm noticing. Your finish in there, also super nice. And... Uh, 
this piece looks new as well. And again, you get the built-in floor mats. And I just, just admire this seat. How nice and like how pretty much new that is. That, that's exactly how the passenger one is. Let me hop in the car here so it's nice and quiet so I can chat with you. Well, first off, steering wheel, nice. Horn works. The gauges are all super nice there as well. The dash pad looks brand new. Your paint over here looks fantastic. Uh, it's got a little different radio in it. I have what I believe is the original one. Shifter, console, all the way back there is super cool. I like the little red accent there. Um, 23720. I think I saw a receipt that only showed like 21,000 miles uh, 10 years ago which is, you know, not a lot of mileage since. And I guess it shows like that. Um, zoom out a little bit. So here, the only downside of the car, in my opinion, so it, it has a rebuilt title, which doesn't make sense. Because here is the, oh, I'm so far out, I'm sorry. Here is the copy of the previous owner's title. No brand legend. However, when the guy went through his loan with uh, JJ Best, something happened we don't we don't really know the guy doesn't know everybody's pointing fingers at each other and uh, i had paid the guy's loan off so uh he actually paid 24 for it in 2020 and of course what did the market do since then it's gone up here's a couple of things that he there are not, a little paperwork that he had here's your marty report not overly important uh they changed they did a total color change on it too which they did a lot of work to do that um alignment report some of the paperwork that they sent to Velocity. Auto repair, something about the trans rebuild. Um, just, a, just a lot of stuff. 22467 odometer in 19. The guy said he barely drove it. He said it was too nice. He's like, I just didn't want to drive it. Um, just little things here and there. I figured I'd go through all of them. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera, muffler center. More, more, more. So, of course, all this goes with the car. It's all nice to have. Everybody likes records. It's missing the little uh, seat belt thing there. This side has it. But the back door panels look super nice. The back seat looks like brand new. Your sail panels back there look fantastic. And the headliner is like brand new too. So again, lots of stuff that they did to it. Make sure I got the key. So I can open up the trunk, I do. And you see here, your finish along the top is fantastic. Now I want to take it, I want to uh, pause this for a second, refocus my camera. There we go. A lot of times getting out of the interior, my camera starts to lose a little bit of focus. You can't really see the finish in there, but the finish is nice. You see a couple little marks right above that lip. You see nice fitment here on this piece as well, all the way down. And it looks like just like maybe a couple little minor marks there. I've been common, of course, with the back tire. Now here's the first piece of chrome bumper, or just chrome in general. So there's a little bit of, you know, a little light wear on it, but it's shiny, it looks good still. Uh, you see your lower valance back there is super, super nice. Again, really nice finish there. Trim there looks great. Stickers line up nice. Uh, trunk lid with the spoiler fits super nice as well. And then again here on the back, that couple speakers put in there, but you know, tastefully done. Grab the key here. Is it this one? Yep. You see nice stamping right there. And uh, I don't see one there, however, it's nice to see one at least. Sometimes they get painted over very easily. Uh, radio, 
floor mats for the front and the back that are Mustang. Spare tire, jack. Uh, tire, tire iron, I guess you could call it that. And uh, where do I begin here? Weather stripping, like new. Again, you can see when I lift up the mat, how nice the trunk is. Um, under the trunk lid as well super nice and sometimes they just shoot it and they paint over this so it's nice to see this not painted um let's go over here delicately move some stuff around see how clean that is and nicely painted there as well as the inner fender wells or inner quarter wells that looks nice there as well i mean again they did a lot of work to this car let me move these back over Again, nice just to have this. Nice there too. Make sure I got the keys, yep, okay. Let me refocus my camera one more time. Okay, there we go. Again, you see a couple little, you know, marks down here. Again, that's going to happen. Fitment there is super nice. The paint is super shiny. Well, I know because it was a, a single gentleman, this passenger side was barely used. You see nice fitment there all the way down. Just here on the bottom corner of the door, it just sticks out just a little bit. I feel like that could be brought up and in, but the door does not sag. Uh, your finish here is nice. And I know there's a little crack in the paint right there, but the rocker, again, I didn't mention the rocker on the other side, also very nice. And there's no bubbles on the car either. No, no rust bubbles, no bubbling at all. Um, there we go. Um, to see this sticker here. Well, let's move this paperwork. Well, there's the floor with the mat. But let me show you the seat again, like brand new. And the dash that you get to see there, beautiful. Really nice. The seat back is good. It just has such a crisp look when you look back here. Anyway, we'll be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. 73 Mustang Mach 1, finished in red with red interior, 351 Cleveland, four barrel, little mark right there. Power steering, power front disc brakes. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, we are going to fire it up now and then drive it. I have somebody else driving today. We'll see how this goes. Very smooth, very quiet. You hear that? doesn't even sound like it's running. Get a little hum out of the back.
Tries nice, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it sounds good too. I like the, the exhaust. Some nice cars. Yeah. The engine runs so quiet. Yeah, it's a, it's a good running motor in it. Yeah. The 351s are good motors. Yeah. You can turn left here. Yeah. Yeah. It drove nice on the highway too. Yeah. You never know with the old stuff going that fast. No. You can turn left here.